Greetings guys, this is Magnanimous Minds Lectures Online. We are back again with mathemat mathematics and four graphs. And we are told to sketch the graph of y squared equals to x plus 1. And uh, if you have a look at this, uh, it looks like a parabola whereby in this case y is our... Uh, independent variable and x is our dependent variable so let's try to work around that and see what what's going to happen we have y squared equals to x plus one then let's say x and we take the one to that side it's going to be y squared minus one Okay, so let's say this is our independent variable and this is our uh, dependent uh, variable. Uh, we'll first uh, draw our axis. So we're going to have uh, the y axis and the x axis here. And then after doing that uh, we know there's the positive side there's the positive side and then there's the negative side and also this side is the negative side and looking at the standard form of a parabola which is uh, let's say in this case it's going to be x equals to a y squared plus b y plus c our a indicates where our parabola is facing. So when a is a positive, parabola is going to face that way. And if a is negative, our parabola is going to face that way. In this case, our a is positive, so our parabola is going to face that way. And then this is going to be our x-intercept in this case. So our x-intercept except where y equals to 0 x equals to negative 1 so it's going to be negative 1 and 0 and our y intercept uh, y intercept where x equals to 0 it's going to be 0 equals to y squared minus 1 and y equals to 1 y squared equals to 1 therefore y equals to plus minus 1 so our y intercepts are going to be minus 1 are going to be 0 minus 1 and 0 1 and then when we mark that let's see our 1 it's right here and our negative 1 right here and our negative one on the x axis right here we we'll first mark the intercept it's negative one and zero y intercept it's a uh, zero and negative one zero and one so our graph is going to be something like this And then let's say we are asked to find the range and domain. Uh, range is the y values in which our graph is uh, existent, and domain is the x values in which our graph is existent. For the y domain, it comes from the negative y domain because it just keeps on going down, the, goes to the positive uh, ex sorry actually it comes from the negative side like down there which is negative infinity and it goes to the positive side up there which is positive uh, infinity so it's going to be negative infinity to positive infinity and remember we do not include like the 
infinities because we don't know where infinity is it's just like a large number and then for the domain if you check it starts from negative one and it just keeps on going so it's going to be negative one two positive infinity and we include negative one because the graph exists at negative one and maybe let's say they also ask you is this a function if you draw a line a vertical line it's going to touch two points meaning that it's not a function and these are the typical uh, questions they would ask you in the test or exam so thanks for watching magnanimous mind lectures online please do subscribe to our channel as well as liking our videos also do follow us on our social media platforms facebook or magnanimous minds instagram magnanimous underscore minds twitter at magnanimous minwa thank you